Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to develop the PLSQL procedure to get the information about the employee based on the given employee number. So first of all, I need to create the block as well as I need to get the structure of the table. So here I have one table and that table name is EMP, which table has the employee number, name, job, manager, hire rate, salary, commission and department number. Now I want to get the information of the employee based on the given employee number. So first of all, I need to create the block. So I'm just creating block over here. That is declare, begin and end. Here, I need to get the number from the user. So I'm just declaring here one variable that is ENO. Data type is EMP.employee number percentage type. Here you can write the semicolon. Here you can see that the EMP is the name of the table and EMP number is the column. So what happened? EMP number having the data type that is number of four that will be assigned to this ENO variable. Now I need the variable that is for the employee name, job and salary. So I'm just declaring the variable over here that is a variable ename that is EMP dot ename percentage type variable e job that is for EMP dot job percentage type variable e salary that is EMP dot salary percentage type. So I have taken three variables and one variable to get the information of the employee. So we need to get the number from the user. So I'm just writing over here that is colon is equal to M person number. So what happened? It will ask me to enter the number and that will be assigned to this ENO variable. Now I'm writing over here one simple query that is select. What do you want to select? I want to select the name. I want to select the designation that is job. And I want to select the salary from employee, but I want to assign this value into the variable. So I'm writing here one close that is into variable employee name. So what happened? This e name will be stored in this variable e name. Now job I want to store in the variable e job, and I want to store the salary into variable e salary. I want this value based on the given employee number. So I need to write here that is where employee number is equal to that is ENO. So what happened? User will enter the number based on that the value will be stored in this variable. Now I want to display this information. So it is very simple. Here I can write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and here I can display the information of that is variable employee name and I want to write the semicolon over here. You can just display the information but whenever you want to display the information you need to set the server output on. So here I need to write set server output on. Now you can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL. It will ask you for the number. For example if I enter the number that is 7902 it will display me the information of that particular employee and that is Ford. But I don't want to display only name. I want to display the salary and designation also. So I need to write here that is a variable that is e job and variable that is e salary. You can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL. It will ask you for the number. For example, if I enter 7839, it says that King President and 6000. I want to display this information in report way. So it is very simple. Here you can write that is this is the information of employee name. So I can write here that is this is name. Here I can concatenate with the piping symbol. Here I can write that this is the designation. So I'm writing here that is a designation and here you can concatenate this as well as here you can mention that this is a salary and you can concatenate with the piping symbol. Now here you can give some space here also you can give some space. Now you can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL. What happened whenever you enter some number for example 7902 
definitely it will give the information but this information is not looks good because name having four character and designation having the character more than four so it is not look like a good report so if you want to give some good report then you can use the function like alped and arped so i'm using here one function that is arped so i'm writing over here that is arped so what happened right side padding will be done of 15 characters so exactly 15 space will be there will be allocated to this name text as well as the same length will be given to this designation so i'm writing here that is 15 as well as same length i want to provide here for the salary so i'm writing over here that is 4 15 and now after that i want to display a colon so i'm writing here colon and here you can concatenate with the piping symbol same you can write over here that is colon and here you can concatenate the same now same i want to write over here that is a colon and here you can concatenate with the piping symbol once it is done you can copy this and you can paste over here in plsql now you can enter the number for example 7839 it will looks like a report that is a name that is king designation president and salary 6000 i want to draw a line over here so whenever you want to draw a line you can use the function that is alped so for example i'm writing here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i'm writing here alped i want to replace the star that is 80 times with the desk so what happened one star will be displayed and rest 79 times it will display the desk so here you can just copy this and here you can paste over here in plsql suppose if you enter the number that is 7839 it will display here desk 79 times and star one time but if you write over here that dash replace with the dash then 80 times this dash will be displayed but i don't want to display this 80 times 30 times is a sufficient for example i'm writing here 30 you can just copy this and you can paste over here also and here also you can write the same and here you can write one message that the employee information so i can write here that the employee information you can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in plsql now you can enter the number for example 7839 it will display the message that employee information and this is the information about the employee that is name is king president and salary is 6000 not only this if you enter the another number for example 7902 then it will give the information of ford who has the designation analyst and the salary is 3000 but there is one issue over here for example if you enter the number which is not available in the table for example if i enter triple one so this number is not available in the table so it will generate an error and the error is no data found so how to deal with this error very simple you can write here the exception block so here you can write that exception and here you can mention when no data found it means that if the record is not found in this select query then what you want to do at that time i want to give some simple message that the record is not found so you can just copy this three lines and you can paste over here now here you can just write the message that record not found so i'm writing here that is record not found you can just copy all this statement and you can paste over here in plsql now what happened it is asking me for the number for example if i enter the number that is 7839 it says that employee information king president 6000 now if i enter the number that is 7902 it gives me the information about the ford now if i provide the triple one it says that record not found so block is created now i want to convert this block into procedure so it is very simple instead of this declare you can just write here that is create or replace procedure and the name of the procedure so name of my procedure is get employee and here you can write the bracket and inside the bracket we need to provide the parameter 
So our parameter will be that is ENO, that is employee number. No need to write the semicolon and colon equal to. Only you need to mention the name of the parameter and data type. And here you can write the keyword that is S. So once it is done, your procedure is created. You can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message procedure is created. Once the procedure is created, our task is to execute the procedure. So it is very simple. We can write here that is EXEC that is execute or you can write wall keyword that is execute name of the procedure that is get employee and you can provide here the parameter that is 7839 you will get the information that the employee information is king president and salary is 6000 you can rerun this and you can provide the another number for example 7902 it says that employee is 4 and suppose if you provide here triple one it says that record not found so this is the way you can create the PLSQL procedure to get the information about the employee based on the given employee number. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.